Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the day in my life because I'm not working today. So I'll explain later, but I'm taking Jake to work so that I can have the car. But yeah, I'm gonna take Jake to work today. I have my workout clothes on because I need to work out. I need to get back in the groove of working out. I really wish I had work today and I still wanted to work out because I need that motivation, but it's fine. Welcome to the vlog, welcome to a day in the life. Um, it is December 5th, but you'll be seeing this, I don't know, in a few days, I guess. But don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and let's get started with the day. I'm pulling into my parking spot right now. So, okay, the way my job works is I'm essentially like on call, like most of the time. Um, but the last, like, since like September I haven't been on call I've been like scheduled so today was my first day back to being like on call type deal yeah I didn't get called in which is a good thing I guess but I already got ready and I want to go to the gym but I'm already like ready and I don't want to go to the gym in hair and makeup you know what I mean so Anna do some other things I need to do. I have a whole list of things I need to do today. And now that I have the time, it works out perfectly. And also one of my best friends is coming on Thursday. So I need to like get stuff ready for that. Did I ever show you guys this? I don't know if I did, but look, we got this at our holiday bazaar, like on post. How cute is that? But anyways, I really want to turn on the tree because I'm home, but it's on a timer and it just makes it more complicated if I do that. Okay, look at all the stuff that Jake needs to put away. I need to tell him to do that today. Anyways, I'm gonna turn on all my other little cozy lights just because I can and I'm home and I can enjoy it. Like I said, my best friend is coming from the US on Thursday and we are headed to Paris on Saturday. So I need to book a hotel because <laughs> I've booked our trains but I have not booked a hotel. Look how cozy. I just got back from the gym and the entire time, literally the entire time I was on the treadmill, I was looking at dogs and where I can get a dog. So I guess past the time, but I am going to make lunch now. I really want to make like a Brussels sprout salad. Again, I saw, I know there's like green goddess salads and stuff on TikTok. I want to kind of like look at that and see if I have the stuff to make something similar-ish. We'll see. I don't have any lettuce, but I do have Brussels sprouts. So I can make Brussels sprout salad. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of random stuff in here. I have apples, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, some broccoli I cut up, Brussels sprouts, shallots, parmesan cheese, all that. So I'm gonna try and toss it and hopefully there'll be enough dressing at the bottom that it'll get all throughout here. Hello, it's a new day, but I'm not working again today. So I am going to go get groceries and I need to clean like a lot, but I just spent the morning kind of going through all the stuff that we have that I need to get more of, making our grocery list all the things. I am headed to Coughlin today because I actually need more stuff, like replacement stuff that I can't get at Aldi, so. Yeah, I just got home. I'm so out of breath. It's sad. <laughs> Mainly because of this. This is all milk. Um, it comes in like little boxes like this. I thought might as well just buy all of them. Um, it's just easier that way because we go through milk really fast and whenever I get down to like the third one I know to buy more. I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul because I feel like I haven't done one in a really long time. So I got 12 cartons of milk. I got some of these slivered almonds because they don't have the ones that are like cut, I don't know, like slivered. These are like sliced, I guess. So I have like a container that I keep all these in. So I got three of these. I got some eggs because they're almost out of the, uh, the carton I have. By the way, I'm leaving on Saturday for a few days, not a big deal, but I want to leave Jake with food because he'll go eat out every day if I don't. So a lot of this is not necessarily for me. We haven't had a stocked fridge, I feel like, in a long time. So 
very good. I spent probably in total like less than 150 bucks, which is like really good for the amount of stuff that I got because normally I get way less than this. So yeah. Okay, keep going. Eggs. Two big jars of green beans because I have cream of mushroom in there in our pantry already and I want to make green bean casserole again. I forgot um, fried onions, but I'll get that eventually. Then cranberries. I'm excited. I don't know if I've like ever had, I probably have had like fresh cranberries, but I saw them. I haven't seen them in the store before, so got those. A couple cans of this Toscana tomatoes. I'm going to make lasagna soup tonight. Mini gherkin. I got some Dijon mustard and some mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. I got this little German national team like football Fußballbund. So I hope Jake likes it. I think I'm going to put it in his stocking, but you can't really see it. But how cute. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to put this in his stocking. I got these lasagna noodles flat things for lasagna soup tonight. I saw these and I these looked interesting. So apple mint chips, tomato, garlic, broccoli, coconut sliver things, coconut chips. I saw these. I've never had these either. Apple rings. Maybe I have. I don't know. Walnuts, himbea, flax seeds. I got Italian sausage for tonight. I got ground beef. These dates are so good at Coughlin, if you ever see them, get them. Couscous, some romaine. I got this can of tomatoes. I think it's whole tomatoes, but I don't know. I also bought Jake a watermelon Fanta that I saw. I think it was in like the US section or like the, I don't know, somewhere. They have a whole section of like different country stuff, which is kind of cool. Got some onions, some Greek yogurt. I don't know if this is like actually Greek yogurt, but it looks like Greek yogurt. More tomatoes, ricotta for tonight, rice, lemons. Lemons tend to go bad so fast here. Then I got two things of cup or tea. This is our favorite. We did an advent calendar for this and I it's like the best. And the cranberry raspberry infusion was like my favorite one that we had um, in the advent calendar. And then I saw this and I was like, I've never had like English breakfast tea, I don't think. So we're gonna try it. So that's everything I got. Oh no, it, no it's not, sorry. I got this at Coughlin too, two things of wrapping paper. Got this at the PX, cause I need a wreath hanger, cause I have a wreath but no wreath hanger. I finally, finally found this, I don't know what this was, it's CO2 thing, like refill. I finally found it for our soda stream back there, you can't see it. Um, I haven't been able to use my soda stream in a while, so I'm really excited about that. And these little tea lights, I got an action for this little thing that I got at a Christmas market that has a regular tea light in it, and I wanted an LED one so I can actually like, turn it on and not like be worried about fire. Jake likes PB2 in his oatmeal every morning, and that's it. So, that's my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I've been working on something all freaking day. All day, it feels like. I am making espresso powder because I have beans. I think I talked about this in another vlog. We have beans that we didn't really want to use for it to make actual coffee. So, I had espresso powder, espresso powder in here before. It was just like ground up coffee, like old coffee, whatever. But this time, I don't know if it's gonna be any better but I took some of the coffee that we didn't want I ground it up really thin or really small on our um, like regular like electric grinder and then I put it on a baking sheet and then I put it in the oven for at 150 for probably like 20 minutes or so just to kind of like dry it out a little bit I guess not that it, I don't know I don't know if I did anything but it's fine and then I'm using my espresso hand grinder like my actual espresso grinder to grind it up a lot smaller so this one is from our electric grinder that's the smallest it can go and then here is the hand grinder like ground to be espresso it's like so much smaller and um what am i trying to say thinner no so much finer it doesn't like you can't really i mean you can tell but yeah so that's why i'm using my hand grinder for this but it's so much work um this is like four rounds filled up to the top 
but yeah now it's like actual espresso powder rather than just like really fine really finely ground coffee beans you know so i'll be here for the next probably 20 minutes and i probably could go faster but something in my brain tells me that whenever i go slower it like pulls it into the bottom and it like actually grinds it up rather than just going really fast i don't know if that makes a difference But also, before it starts, we are going to go on a walk, and we're just not smart for doing that, but I didn't go to the gym today, and then Jake said he would go on a walk with me, and I held him to it. So, we're going on a walk, and it's like probably in the 30s, like maybe like one or two degrees outside right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog with our walk. We're probably going to freeze, but it's fine. TV's really messing up my lighting here. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!